We used to have each other's playlists No, no we Used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now we go our separate pathways But your heart's still in mind yeah. I should be out the door right now On my way to meet Nun for another round of after work drinks But I tried on a new lip product And I was so surprised by how nice it looked That I decided to miss the tram and show you guys when i looked in the mirror it looked nice so i'm hoping it's not a total fail but look at this please i hope it's not a fail when i put it on i just gave it a try i was like huh this looks really nice right now in the camera it actually doesn't look as nice as it did when i looked in the mirror but this is how my lips look like i used this lip tint i think from Amuse and it's the number seven caramel. I bought it last year I just felt like having lip tints because that was like a trend So I just picked a few random colors and back then I didn't like it that much, but now Yeah, and now I really need to get ready. Otherwise, I'll miss another job. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the... My brain is so fried. Well, luckily, it's the weekend. I can turn my brain off. I can turn up and live life like there's no tomorrow. I'm just kidding. I'm going home to the family. We'll be spending Friday night editing because the uploads don't do it themselves so but it's gonna be nice i'm looking forward to spend time with the family always enjoy editing even though sometimes it's really really tough i definitely cannot complain i'm so proud of myself that i managed to do a batch of laundry and the sun was shining so i was able to put it out on the balcony and it dried a lot now it's like back in and by the time i'm back home everything is gonna be dry and i love I love when that happens. <laughs> now I'm gonna finish up some more work and then head back home. So comfortable. No one seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. What's good? I just came back from the city. Mom was so busy working. She hadn't eaten anything until like, well, 2 p.m. or something. So I went in and got her a coffee and a donut and got myself a little something as well. I'm actually going back to Cologne later in the afternoon. Usually I stay until Sunday, but I got plans tomorrow. I wouldn't even come back home to just stay one night, but the reason I did this time is because she's flying back to Vietnam next week. So we helped her packing and I don't know what it is with Vietnamese parents always buying way too much and then being surprised that it doesn't all fit in the luggage. You should know by now, how come 
you don't and this time she's flying alone and i have become so protective of my parents that i'm super super worried like oh she gotta get there safe because i'm not bringing her to the airport it's a direct flight so it's gonna be fine but i'm just like mm, she's gonna be my herself with all the luggage or check-in process i know that I'm just way too much in my head because she'll manage. She's an adult, she speaks German. It's just like, ugh, doesn't make sense. Is anybody else feeling like super overprotective over their parents like this? It's gonna be fine. I'm just overthinking as always. So. We're currently in a very packed on the way to the football stadium. Because we're going to watch a football match. And usually I would say soccer. It's like so used to the English. But I'm like, no, in German it's a football. So I'm gonna go back to saying football because it's football. Fun fact, when I was in high school, I was super, super duper into football. Like I would follow Bundesliga every week, had my favorite team, knew all the players' names and stuff like that. And then eventually that interest faded. It's only my second time in a football stadium. The last time was like more than 20 years ago for sure. And this is my first time watching women's football. I've never watched it on TV or anything. But Ming Tu, who's gonna join us later, she just asked me, and I'm usually down for anything, so it's gonna be a fun experience. some leftover stuff from yesterday's brunch and then okonomiyaki and this is my lunch bag it's actually bts merch i think it's such a cool lunch bag <laughs>
but then I remembered that there's a topic I've been meaning to talk about, so we're doing it right now. In many of my vlogs, you can see me cooking, and it made me realize that it may come across as me having it all figured out, or it's super simple and easy for me to just dish out, uh, I wouldn't call it fancy, but meal. And I wanted to clarify that that is not the case. There are many, many days where I am so sick and tired of cooking. Eventually you will come into a stage of your life where you're never gonna stop thinking about what you're gonna cook or what you wanna eat. I try to reduce processed food as good as I can and cook at home as much as I can. I'm not an order in kind of girl. It's so, so, so rare. Except for Duna. We love Duna in this household. <laughs> I'm not the kind of person who can just dish out a super nice meal within 15 minutes. I admire people who can do that. A simple and quick meal for me would look like toast or instant lamion. Yeah, something like that. That's what I wanted to quickly mention. I do not want to portray it as super simple, super easy. I enjoy it, yes, but sometimes I really, really hate it. And for me, it it does require some planning. If you do have a few recipes that are quick and easy and healthy, feel free to share them in the comments because sharing is caring. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!